This is my Mazda MX-5 and currently it has a few issues that I need to fix. Number one is the front brake discs need replaced. Now they aren't in dire need of replacement right now, however I do have a set of turbo groove discs that are to go on the car and I kind of want them on. And the second thing is that the passenger side electric window isn't working properly. It's very slow and every time it goes up it pulls the seal out of the side of the window and I've got a big dangling bit of rubber that I really need to sort out. Now thankfully these jobs are not very time consuming or hard to do, however I actually do have a limited slip differential that is ready to go in the car. Now I won't be doing that in this video, however you can expect that video to be coming out in the near future, so if you're interested in seeing that video too when it comes out, make sure to subscribe and turn bell notifications on. Now right now as I'm recording this is pretty late, so tomorrow morning I'm going to get started with one of my friends to get this car done. Okay, so our first plan is to get these wheels off, even though they're really dirty, but it's fine. So we're going to jack the car up, put the new brake discs on, because for some reason we didn't put the discs on when we put the pads on. Then after that, we need to fix this because it keeps coming out. And I spent like half an hour fixing it last time, but I didn't really do it properly. And then it came undone within five minutes. So we're gonna do it properly this time. So you're gonna see that, which is great. Mate, it's hitting off the fucking bumper already. How good is that? Good thing the bumpers are cheap. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh my God, I actually had a heart attack there. I heard that bump and I was like, brilliant. Then we can fit jacks down under that. Just keep going. No. Nice. Mmm, so clean. You know, this car's really well looked after. There you go. Big wow. sweet. Look how big and strong I am. Yeah, man. You got proxies on. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, fine. Look at that. Yeah, it's really, really treadful, isn't it? It's got lots, lots of meat on them. What do you mean by that? How uneven the tire wear is as well. <laughs> it's, it's really bad on the outside. Negative camber. There you go. That's it. Mmm, covered in mud now because I hit the fucking thing. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Lovely. Ooh, shiny new turbo groove discs. Incredible. I mean, probably because they're like fucking professionals, bro. They have ugga duggas. That's very true, they do have ugga duggas. Yeah, just put the whole thing in it, yeah. That'd be great. What do you mean by that? Stop violating my daughter, dude. That's us done the discs at the front, now we're moving on to this door. And the only way I can fix it is by taking the door card off, taking the window out, then taking this seal out, sliding it back down, kind of like gluing it in place because for some reason it's not staying in place. Put the window back on once I clean it and then putting the door card back on, which is really good at engineering from Mazda. Really, thanks for that guys. So I'm gonna get that done now. Right, now I need to take all this seal off, and that's great because it's totally not sticky as hell. Can you see it? No, yeah. Not. You should do it in front of the camera. No. Fine, you don't need to see this. How's that? That's great. Is that pretty good? I did that pretty well. See the way I'm standing, I'm like, fucking. You look Ill. like. <laughs> <laughs> The glass is now out. Like Let's not drop it. Throw it under drop the grass. It, drop it. Why? So laughing. <laughs> Mate, I'd cry if I dropped it. It's falling down. You. You have silicon. Thanks, thanks, bro. Silicon. <laughs> silicon based lubricant that dries dry. How cool is that? So we need to spray that all on the inside. 
Because then... W, that's essentially W <laughs> yeah. yeah! So that means the window will actually go you up want fast super now. Glue this yeah, look, we're gonna use super glue on the, on the inside of it, babe, not on this bit. Do you need me, my super glue? Nah, I've got some in the house. But mine is as his own. Bro, as his own super glue? That's hard. Well, it does go hard, yeah. What super glue does. Yeah! Yeah, buddy, you got me there. Maybe not drip over my tool. Yeah. My big tool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this whole video trying to fart quietly. <laughs> no, I need to spray down the rollers as well. <laughs> Look how fast that is now. How the fuck am I meant to see how fast it's going from this new window? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, because I can't get that out, so I need to like create a lip um, for like the wee notches to like slide over because of the bit like that. And if I don't do that, it'll go in. So like, it needs to go through right, like that. Right. So you got a sports direct card, and what's the other thing? So that organ donor card. Nice. Now we can actually put the door back together. Finally managed to get this window back in and the doors all sealed up and screwed in and clipped in and all that sort of stuff So as you can see, it's actually running fast, which I never did that before So now it's running faster smoother and of course this bit is not coming out, which is absolutely fantastic Oh my god, you're driving the Miata It's a Miata too <laughs> They were squealing in the spongy <laughs> okay, the brakes do feel much nicer. I don't know if that's just a placebo effect though, because it shouldn't really have changed that much, apart for the cooling. Although they do still squeal a wee bit, and the ABS light is still on, which isn't great. So we'll probably just need to get new ABS sensors and fit them at some point. As far as today's gone, I'm quite happy. So we're just going to go clean it now, in tubbies. Tubbies is good sponge it down a bit because it really does need a deep clean and then we're going to get some sick photos with Steven because Steven is good at photos. This is really good. Okay, so the car is much cleaner now. Obviously, it was gonna be much cleaner because of how dirty it was, especially this side. It's actually, you know, not covered in mud now. So it's pretty, well, not pretty clean. It is cleaner, so we're gonna detail this eventually. Not tonight, because we can't be bothered, but Steven does know a few good places for photos, and he does photography professionally. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, this guy right here, he does photography professionally. So, we're gonna go to some cool places, get some cool photos of the cars, because he has his Mark III over there. Uh, you can't really see it, but that's gonna be a fun thing to do. Five minutes later. So we're at this wall that Steven knows. I mean, it goes hard, I can't lie. <laughs> he's, get, he's getting all the good angles, because he's, he's hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, these are gonna turn out sick. Steven's photos always turn out sick. It's like a free promotion, which is great. <laughs> yeah! Evil graph. His Instagram is right here, right here. Right oh, look at that editing. Right <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I like how from over here, you almost can't see the paint flaking on the side, like right there. What paint flaking? What paint flaking? What paint flaking? Yeah, mm. there's no paint flaking. Mmm. See, my car is very clean. 
There's no paint flaking, nothing at all. No big streaks coming off the car. I have no bubbles or scratches in my front bumper. No, you definitely don't have a dent in your door either. Oh, don't bring up the dent. There's no dent in this car. <laughs> yeah. So, shout out Robbie for the for the lovely shoe sized dent on the door. Seriously, sure, jumping in my car, Robbie. Yeah, that goes hard. Do you know how mad it is that that Mark 1 would go for like 10 grand in the US? Even yeah. though it's shit. Even, nah, I mean, <laughs> it's not shit, shit to be fair. It's, it's went through a lot of your abuse. It has gone through a lot of abuse. Look yeah. how cute Callum looks. But then again, so is mine. That is true. Yours has eaten many cones. I mean, the latest abuse that this car has gone through is of course, the dent at the back and then the dent in the exhaust. And it's also offset and pushed back. Oh. Did I interrupt you, sir? You did interrupt me, honey. Absolutely shocking. So that should come out probably to here. But now it doesn't. But it's fine. <laughs> Your fiberglass, you can repair that. That is true. Although, I don't know. I don't know how to fiberglass. No, but if you sand it down, the fumes that come from fiberglass are really good for you. Oh, they're really Yeah, I breathe all of them in. My asthma would love that. So now we're going to. Both of these guys moving the cars around. Now, I don't know why I trust Stephen to drive my car, but it's fine. You can see the rust bubbles and where it needs washed again, which is not great. You know, it kind of is our fault for not contact washing them, but we'll do that at some other point. So if you want to see clean MX-5s, subscribe, why not? And like the video if you're enjoying. So finally, I've now sorted those issues that were annoying me about my MX-5. Now, of course, there is a lot more stuff that I do need to do. Like, for example, at the start of the video, I did say I do have a limited slip diff that is to go in the car that isn't currently, so there will be a video covering that very soon. Then, of course, there's very small things like the ABS light is on, the exhaust is a little bit battered and it's pushed back, and there's also a dent in the back. Now, all of this stuff is stuff I will sort, and then once I get all of these small things sorted, I'm going to look at modifying the car properly. My overall plan for the car currently is to put a body kit on it. I'm a best fan of the Destroyer die kit, so I'm probably going to go over one of them. I also do like wide arches I do see quite commonly in a lot of MX-5, so I'm going to see if I can mix that with the Destroyer die kit to kind of create something I want to see. And then on top of that, I do want to get some better wheels for the car. As much as I am a fan of the OEM ones, I do kind of want something that looks a bit nicer. So if you're watching this and you have any suggestions for coilovers, body kits, alloys, anything to do with the car, please let me know down in the comments because I would really like to hear what you have to say. And I definitely want these videos to be a bit more interactive where you guys can suggest stuff. I take it on board and I do certain things or I change certain things. That would be really cool. Hopefully all of you guys watching have enjoyed this video and if you want to follow me on this journey make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments everything that you have opinions of and suggestions for my car too. But regardless have a great day and I will see you in the next one.